So if you've been watching my Lancer videos, you might be like, oh yeah, Rodrigo, he's a mechanics guy. He's mostly been talking about mechanics, but actually I'm also a roleplay guy. Roleplaying is a big part of what I enjoy about the game. So today we're going to be talking about code names, handles, call signs, basically that nom de guerre for your pilot during a mission. Now these are my opinion. They're not like the consensus of the community. They're not rules from the book. So you might say, hey, why should I listen to you? So I'll just put my bona fides on screen, and then once you guys are ready, we can move on. I should also bring up that this video is sort of part of a series. In this video, we're going to talk about what to call your pilot. In the next video, we're going to talk about what to call your mech. And in that video, there's going to be a take so hot so absolutely thermonuclear that it might get me completely ejected from the Lancer community. But we'll see. My guide to code names, call signs, and handles has three rules. We're going to start out talking about the first two rules, then we're going to talk about some other stuff, and then we're going to talk about the last rule at the end. Rule number one, your call sign should be one, two, or three syllables. No more. Rule number two, your call sign should be one word, or maybe a very often used compound word, something like maybe catfish. Okay, why? Why, why, why? Why are you, why are you telling me this? Why are you putting these restrictions on me? The point of call signs is to have a name that can be shouted quickly in the middle of the action. If your name is too long, it'll get shortened. If your name is too many words, it'll get shortened. So, okay, all right. One time I was watching this actual play video for Lancer, and one of the pilots was codenamed Huitzilopochtli. Now, who doesn't love Huitzilopochtli? But that's a huge name, and if you're not familiar with Nahuatl, it's hard to pronounce. So, everybody was calling him Wheat. And I have bad news for you. If everybody calls you Wheat, then your call sign is Wheat. Alright, enough rules and don'ts. Let's just get into some advice on how to come up with a call sign. So, your code name should be evocative of your character in some way. But think about your whole character. So one thing I see a lot is people taking call signs that point directly to their chosen mode of combat. That's not bad. It's not a bad thing to do that. Uh, you can absolutely do that. But you might want to consider other stuff. It, they should still be evocative of the character, right? So if you're running a Blackbeard and your codename is Hooks, then sure. That's perfectly fine. But what if you're like a devout religious person? who's running a Blackbeard, then your codename could be Deacon. And then you can have like a contrasting like attitude to like the absolute brutality that the Blackbeard exhibits in combat. Huh? See? Tension. All right. Parts of speech. So actually your codename doesn't have to be a noun. It could be a verb or an adjective or I guess an adverb. But let's talk about nouns first. Nouns. Static. Fulcrum. Centroid. Bike chain. Maybe dancer, blacksmith, underwater bonus round, coho, snapper, mako, orca, squid, back to the surface, springbok, sister, pollen, master blaster is too many words. Get out of here with that. Actually, if you want a really good list of nouns as code names, you can look up like transformers. That is probably like the best list of like short, snappy, one word, noun, code names. And there's going to be ones that don't fit that. Um, and then you might say like, well, I don't want to name my character after someone else. There's 10,000 Transformers. So, you know, don't name, don't name your character Optimus. <laughs> but, you know, if you name your character Roadblock, that's valid. That's good. Adjectives. Majestic. Bleak. Real. Cursed. Light. Sweet. Benthic. Invincible is too many syllables. Get out of here, Mark. Blabbers! Swim, climax, petrify, crush, crash, crash, bury, 
seems good, but most people will think your codename is Bear. So what else should you think about? Well, everybody likes ironic nicknames, right? Like a big guy named Tiny, or a, a really dumb guy named Brain. So here's something that's a very important consideration, right? We're talking about role playing. So your backstory can and should factor into your code name. So if your character was like, I don't know, a miner, then maybe their code name is Quarry, or they basically have access to any mineral, right? They're sort of ill-fitting backstory-based code names. Like this is above and beyond an ironic name. Like maybe your character's code name is Shrimp, because they come from a long line of mech pilots and they got multiple mech pilot siblings and they have always been the runt of the litter, the small one, the useless one. So you take off and you sign up with Mirror Smoke and you keep the name Shrimp. And everybody's gonna call you Shrimp until you prove yourself that you're actually a King Prawn. I would allow King Prawn, but people are just gonna call you Prawn. Okay, so earlier I said that there were three rules, but I only went over two. So here is the third and most important rule. Respect other people's code names. So Lancer is a role-playing game, and aside from your cool friend who's a good artist, or these like lavish actual play shows that are like fully illustrated, most of the time these characters are going to live in your head and your friend's heads. So names actually take on a much higher importance, right? The name is the tag that goes to your character and that somewhat nebulous idea of who the character is until it fully solidifies in everybody's mind. So it's very important that you don't mess with people's names. Don't make fun of them. Don't shorten them. Don't change another PC's call sign. I guess if like both parties agree to do like a role play like bully victim thing or like a rival thing and you both have like funny versions of each other's call signs that you call each other that's fine but only that so this is it for rodrigo yells at you about your character's name lancer edition if we get into other games i mean you can hear me rant about what you should call your exalted character where the rules are basically the opposite of what i just said Except for the making fun. Don't make fun of people's character names. Okay. Like, subscribe, click it and click. If there's a click, click it. Okay, bye.